wrong number on the schmuck, I think, for Ben. Uh, I'm Penn, I'm a grateful member of this community. Yeah. I'm also an alcoholic and a heroin addict. Um, yeah, six years. I've heard of those. Don't love whatever they say about me. I make too many things. Um, I'm usually a man of many words. I want to try to curtail that because there's so many people. Um, but I have so much love for Big Shuba. This place was the perfect place for me to, to get sober, to find myself. I came in here with nothing, and they took me in. Um, literally, uh, I lived here for 16 months and built a life here and, and took it with me and, and kept my life. Um, this place is part of my life. I came here pretty much homeless and heartless and found my heart and found a home here. Every time I walk through these doors, I know I'm home. Um, I'm grateful to Harriet and Rabbi for building this place and for um, you know, taking me personally um, and interesting me, I feel. Uh, Rabbi was my spiritual advisor. Harriet often made time for me when I needed it. Uh, the staff here was amazing. I'm, I'm grateful to all the people I came through the house with. It's a beautiful thing to be able to take a kid with a bunch of my friends from class of 2011. Um, and I, we're, all, we're all still here. We're all still doing it. Um, strong, strong group. We had a good, we had a good community there. Um, and we still stick together and we still walk this path of recovery shoulder to shoulder and look to each other for guidance and inspiration. And it's worked for me ever since. Um, Beit Shuba has given me so many things throughout the year. It was a place where I crashed and burned and rebuilt my life. Um, I got to have an internship here and get fired from that. <laughs> I got to later come back and be hired as a staff member and work here for some time. Um, I'm grateful to everyone who's come before me and, and laid the path. I'm grateful for everyone I get to walk it with. I'm grateful for everyone who's come since and I get to put a hand out and help somebody. I've gotten to come back here and sponsor some guys and it's been an extremely rewarding experience. And, you know, all I can say to the new person is, Find a power greater than yourself by which you can live. And find a way of living that you can commit yourself to. Um, you know, this last year has probably been the, the hardest year for me. Not for risk of sobriety, but just life on life's terms. You know, career troubles and struggles and ego stuff and money stuff coming up. Um, you know, trying to just keep true to my integrity and, and continue to stay on the path that's mine. And, you know, sometimes I step one or two steps off the path, but I always find my way back and find my my beam to stay on. And um, you know, it's you know, like my aunt Miranda said, like I sometimes like this few few years in, I lose sight that like, oh my God, I'm sober. I came in here somebody that could not stop using heroin, yeah, even though I really really wanted to, and I found something here by which I could live that helped me have this problem be removed from me. And so, find someone who can show you how to walk this path, whatever that path looks like for you. Find something that you can dedicate yourself to. And I'm so grateful to my family, my aunt for being here, my girlfriend of almost five years, who I met here, um, and just being here and supporting me all the way. And the people in my life supported me when, when I was not someone who could support himself and was not someone who gave anything back and today I'm someone who shows up for other people and gets to be a part of other people's lives not take things from them and thank you for letting me come here and share that with you.